I've been told that I apologize way too often. So, sorry about that. So this tale begins many moons ago, when I was just beginning high school. The nerves were high, the face was greasy, and the acne was fierce. Also, there were other things happening in my life besides stress and facial blemishes, but those are what I remember the most. So a friend of mine, a very nice, kindly, respectable gentleman, tells me one day that I apologize too much. I'm struck by the fact that he noticed this, and felt that it was worth bringing up at all. But then I start to realize that if this friend, one of the nicest and gentlest guys I know at the time, a real class act, has been bothered by my frequent apologies to the extent that he felt he had to bring this up to me, then they must be pretty darn annoying. My knee-jerk gut instinctual response to him telling me this is, of course, I'm sorry, yeah, I'll work on that. Then, like an over-the-top supporting character in a poorly written 50s sitcom, I literally clap my hand over my mouth, realizing I've said something I shouldn't have. I apologized for apologizing. This is when I realize it's gotten out of hand. I feel like a drug addict or something, and I've reached the point where I know I have a problem. Yeah, you know, for so long I swore to myself and those close to me that it was just social, you know, it was just for fun. And I was always in control, and I only apologized when I was with friends. And, you know, eventually you start to realize that you're apologizing when you're on your own, and you can't stop yourself. And that's when you've got to admit that this is serious, that you can't keep ignoring it. In order to address this issue, I begin racking my brain, the old noodle, the noggin, to recall all of the times that I've said sorry in recent memory. And additionally, I start to become hypersensitive to every time I apologize in everyday life. The results are frightening. I brush past someone in the hall. Sorry. I open a door for someone and in the process spend a split second standing in front of them while I pull the door open. Oh, sorry. Even though I'm doing them a favor? I mean, what? I cut someone off in a conversation. Oh, I'm so sorry. Gosh, I, you started saying something and I was in the... Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Seems a bit extensive and not eloquently phrased in the slightest. I clear my throat in the middle of class. <clears throat> sorry about that. I take a deep breath in the middle of class. <sighs> sorry, that was me. My shoe squeaks in the middle of class. That was my shoe. Sorry, it was... My shoe squeaked and it sounded like a fart, so... It's funny that it sounded like that, but... It was the shoe, sorry about that. That one's so excessive that it will probably convince people I did in fact fart and I'm just overcompensating in my apologetic explanation in order to cover it up. Not good. I give my friend a birthday gift slash surprise when they didn't ask for one. Sorry I didn't ask you first, I just thought it'd be fun for you, you know. Okay, that one's just me seeking instant gratification. Just unashamedly fly fishing for compliments. Despicable. As I come to realize how horribly frequently I apologize for even trivial minor matters, I understand that I need to get a handle on this habit. And this I try to do for the next several years with mixed results. And after my friend talks to me, no one else addresses this issue with me, personally, to my face at least, until recently. The other night I was writing something out and it was taking me a long time. So I explained to the friend I was working with that I'm often overly detailed in my writing. Then I said, Yep, you guessed it. Sorry. And she told me, Don't apologize. You don't have to apologize for that. And I should have had this dramatic realization, like one of Zeus's lightning bolts bursting forth from the heavens and striking me in the gullet, that I don't have to apologize for that. You're right. I'm not sorry. I'm perfectly satisfied with and justified in my actions. There's no need to take them back. Hey, everybody, I'm not sorry. <laughs> Instead, I just said somewhat jokingly, fine, I'm not sorry at all. Deal with it. And my friend just laughs because me being mean and standoffish is like Tony Stark being not super cool or the Joker being predictable or Adam Sandler making a quality comedic family film. I mean, it just isn't done. It doesn't work. It's purely illogical as Spock would say. And both my friend and I know that. So I guess we also both know that I'm bound to never escape this over-apologetic syndrome. O-A-S, or OAS, to use the proper medical terminology. I'll be stuck saying sorry too often for the rest of my life, I suppose. And I think I can live with that. I believe that it's better to apologize too often than to apologize too little. You can either look like a blubbering, bumbling, eager-to-please ninny, or an inconsiderate jerk. And between those two, I'll take the blubbering, bumbling, eager to please ninny. Hey, that's what people have always called me anyway. So, there you go. I guess the lesson here is that some habits are just too hard to change. Old habits die hard, and you can't teach an old dog new tricks, etc, etc. And that can be okay. If these habits are not negatively impacting you or those around you, then don't waste time feeling bad about yourself because of them. Embrace your quirks. They're what make you who you are. Was that corny enough for you? Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I fluffed my pillow a smidge too loudly this morning, so I'm gonna go write a seven-page formal letter of apology to my roommate. You know, standard procedure. Gotta fess up and take responsibility for my actions. I'll catch you later.